Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. We're thrilled to be here um, at the park here to raise money and awareness for Parkinson's disease. Uh, the American Parkinson's Disease Association has been around since 1961 and our mission is dual. It's to raise funds for research to find the cure or cures for Parkinson's as well as to provide patient support. And um, this is especially important at this park because typically during uh, regular hours dogs are not allowed to the park but by participating in the APDA walk uh, one of the advantages you get to bring your dog. So it's really cool to be here with all the dogs. It's always fun, it's always lots of laughs here and uh, and it does a lot of good. This is the second year that we've combined the dog and the people together and today happens to be an exceptionally great day, great event, but we really have raised a lot of money through the years with these events. Not only people that have family members that are afflicted with Parkinson's are here today with their dogs, but people that really generally want to get out for a good cause. With Parkinson's disease you get something caused by a freeze, so some of these service dogs help them to be able to be more mobile. And plus, you know what, um, dogs are really a man's best friend with or without Parkinson's disease. I started doing this after my mom passed away from uh, many, many years of complications from Parkinson's. Uh, she was an amazing person, um, just mother of nine, uh, PhD, um, lived life to the most, uh, but Parkinson's really got her. And getting her also got to the family. And we have to find a cure, and that's why we're doing this. We go to a lot of adoption events on Long Island. There's really a lot of them, and we try to bring a couple of dogs, and a lot of them get homes that way, so it's great. George is from the town of Hempstead Animal Shelter, and you can go down there. They'll bring dogs out for you if you don't want to go inside. There's a lot of wonderful dogs. They're all wonderful dogs. Yeah, grab them both. In the Division of Neurology, we have MS, um, we have stroke. Yeah. epilepsy and movement disorder. We have support groups so it's not just here's your medicine goodbye, it's you know helping you cope with it and deal with it. Uh, Dr. Brian Snyder is one of our neurosurgeons who, who performs CVS. Who, yeah, who do um, deep surgeries, mm -hmm. deep brain stimulation uh, surgeries and that's for people who are beyond the help of medication and you would you see a dramatic change in their life and um, they work hand in hand together every day. Who's my top girl? Who? Who's the best girl in the whole world? You are. You are. I take dogs when society has given up on them and I rehabilitate. I just took in a 12 year old who was only given a week to live and she lived two and a half years. I try to show people that shepherds can be socialized and taken in at an old age. I've had, I have two other shepherds with me also. One is um, 14 years old and the other one is three and they both been, have been socialized and rehabilitated after owners have surrendered or, or left for dead. We've been at a lot of parks, yeah. we've done a lot of things like this, but this is definitely the best one because it's fun for everybody, all the dogs are dressed up, everyone gets to come out, it's great. You no, know, I think it's great overall just to get awareness out, like people don't realize that when you're going and buying a $2,000 dog from a breeder that you can go adopt a dog for $100, get a great dog that's been mistreated a little bit, you know, it needs a second chance. And I think that's great that we're bringing awareness to other people. We're showing people that yes, there are other dogs out there, some adoption agencies that were here. People shouldn't just be buying all these dogs and stuff. And you know what? Some of those people who buy those dogs, they get the mill dogs and they're so mistreated. And I think it's horrible that that happens. People just really get psyched up to be with their dogs and to participate in things like this that also invite the whole family to come along, not just the human part of the family, but also dog part of family. It's just great that there are events like this that bring awareness not only to the human side of disease but also how animals can help us with that.